Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 3! Y'all saw my morning. So every morning I wake up usually between 6 and uh, 6.30. But today I woke up a little bit later because Wednesday is my later start day. And then I work later into the evening. So I allow, allow myself to sleep in just a little bit more. Um, so wake up, take the dogs out, feed the dogs. Um, you saw uh, we do blue buffalo dry dog food. And then um, 
I made that dog food that you saw me mix in it last night. It's chicken breast, green beans, water. I did splash like a little bit of broth in it. Um, rice and pure pumpkin. And so that's what was mixed in with them. Then I like to make my coffee and my breakfast and I come into my office and I usually watch about 30 minutes of YouTube while I eat breakfast and drink coffee and wake up. It's like my favorite part of the day. Um, today I spent a little bit longer <laughs> doing that but um now it's time to I have a couple of things I need to do on my computer so I'm going to do that now and then um I'm going to go get ready for the day so we'll get ready together for the day um and then today's just gonna be a morning routine pretty pretty simple but tomorrow I have the evening off I just work in the morning uh I I started doing that a couple of weeks ago where uh, Thursdays I don't schedule anyone in the evenings just so I have one night a week that I am not working until 6 or 7 p.m. So um, tomorrow I'll be able to take you guys to the gym. Hopefully you guys like that um, from day two. I have to go pick up Morty's uh, medicine. He takes a heart pill and he takes a medicine for his skin. So I have to go to the vet and get that. Uh, and also tomorrow I have my first therapy session. It's going to be teletherapy. But I just feel like I've run out of coping skills for 2020. And all I have left now is just sleep. <laughs> and I'm sure the time change and it getting dark earlier contributes to that. But I just feel like, you know, with the pandemic, March on has been nothing but like coping, coping, coping. And now that we're to the holidays and, you know, really not seeing anyone not seeing family for the holidays or anything like that it's almost like i've reached the point where like i just keep, i don't like i just have to like shut down because i don't know how to like process everything and understand everything so if you go to this website this isn't like sponsored but if you go to psychologytoday.com i know this is in the u.s if, i'm sure other countries have something similar to it but it's basically a database of uh, therapists. Therapists pay to have their services listed on there. But you can enter your zip code and it will show you all the therapists in your area. If they're doing teletherapy or if you can go in person. It tells you their prices, um, the type of therapy they do. You can see their licensures. And um, you know you can select like individual, couples, whatever you want. So I found someone who... Uh, does do couples just in case Jared and I ever want to do it together um, but I'm going to start with me and just start talking about 2020 and try and have a better outlook on it <laughs> I feel like I've run out of positivity for this year <laughs> and that's not me so I want to um, kind of talk through that and see what uh, new coping skills I can have and all that also it's really hard like I talked about in my birthday get ready with me um, Jared has been out of work and it's been really hard for him finding a job and anytime you have a relationship where someone works and someone doesn't work it's really hard because the person working feels overwhelmed and pressured and not appreciated and the person not working has feels defeated by not being able to find a job so it's like you both can't really show appreciation for each other. Like you both just feel like overwhelmed. Um, and so that's been kind of something I've never had to navigate before. So I want to learn some coping skills for that. And maybe once I feel more ready to, once I feel, I guess more of an understanding of how I feel about it and how I should process it, then I would like to do maybe a session with Jared and I to, so we can learn together how to not attack each other <laughs> and to like, you know, work it out. And we all, like, we have a, a really good relationship. And I just think 2020 for everyone has shown, like, new things you have to work through. And you don't always know how to work through things. So then you just do your best. And sometimes your best just isn't enough. That sounds weird, but sometimes you just don't know. You don't know what you don't know, you know? So then you're just exhausted by trying to make it work. So just going to talk through some stuff, figure out how I feel on stuff, how I should be processing these life events right now, and then um, move forward from there. So that's going to be tomorrow. 
Um, yeah, I guess that's it. I really want to do a CVS haul for you guys. We haven't done Costco yet. Usually we go the first of the month, but because of um, Thanksgiving. So we went at the beginning of November, but then we had to do Thanksgiving grocery shopping. You guys saw the Aldi haul. Um, we went and stayed at a cabin, so then we got extra stuff for the cabin. So we've been really just kind of living off of those groceries. Um, so I don't know if we'll go to Costco this weekend or next week. I'll have to talk to Jared because I assume we'll shop for, um, we'll probably shop for Christmas and New Year's. I don't know. I'll have to think. I'll talk to Jared about that. But that's where we're at for today. I've been talking to you guys for a minute now. Um, I'm going to do some computer work and then we'll get ready together. Um, and then that will be pretty much my morning routine for you guys. But thank you so much for the love on day one. Even though the sound was off. I'm going to send that mic back. I think it's just not what I was looking for. I got it off Amazon. So I'm going to send that back and try a new one. Um, but thanks for still watching it. And... <laughs> Yeah, just following along Vlogmas. It's so fun. Like when I do Vlogmas, I'm like, I should be filming this much every day. But then, you know, it's kind of it's kind of a lot. And it's a lot to balance. Like how much of your life do you really want to put out there? Because um, you see a lot of these huge YouTubers like kind of struggling right now. Where they're just putting like everything out there. And they're like on OnlyFans. And they're like, guys, <laughs> I'll stop. But in a minute. <laughs> on YouTube. I feel like YouTubers who do it full time, a lot of them are struggling. Like the ads aren't really what they usually are. Their links aren't usually what they are, like their affiliate links. And they're just really struggling and kind of grasping straws. And I feel like that's why YouTube's kind of flat right now. I hope Vlogmas kind of resuscitates it a little bit. But people like me who do it outside of work is like, I feel like we're maintaining, it's fine. Like we, we're in our niche, it's fine. Um, but these bigger channels, y'all, <laughs> if you watch, if you don't watch some Oki Glow, you should. Cause she is like, she exposes everyone and all the craziness there, these bigger YouTubers do. But anyways, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, so my YouTube homepage has been recommending new people which I've been appreciating because on my feed, now a lot of people are posting or they're not posting things I'm interested in watching. So it recommended to me stripper vlogs. <laughs> and you know, I'm just like a curious person by nature. Like I just like knowing what other professions are like, what people's lives are like. So I've been watching stripper vlogs. We are all in the wrong profession. This girl works seven days over the span of two and a half weeks and made almost $4,000. I'm like, hmm, what, hmm. <laughs> so I've, that's, that's been interesting and that's just the YouTube hole. I feel like I've fallen down every, every niche, like the van life people, the, um, the people, the stockpile emergency people. I really, I'm, I keep just falling down these rabbit holes, but sugar vlogs has been the recent rabbit hole and I'm just like, wow, good for y'all. <laughs> All right, so. Here we go, on to the next, let's get ready together. Ooh -ooh. Bathroom. I'm just gonna do my makeup basket express today because 
Um, just only have 20 minutes and I don't want a ton of makeup on today. I just want to look put together and feel put together. So I was just wiping off my Fitbit cover. It had water under it. So the first thing I'm going to do is use the uh, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair, uh, this primer right here. Um, I like this one because it's very moisturizing, so it feels like a double, I guess double moisturizer because I use the uh, CVS Moisturizing Facial Lotion. This is supposed to be comparable to CeraVe. I'd say I prefer CeraVe, but that one I'll just, you know, I'll use it up. Here's the Wet n Wild Foundation Stick. This one is in Soft Ivory. I'm going to use this today as my foundation. And what I like to do is just swipe it all over my face. This is like the quickest thing ever. Like when this runs out, I can't imagine a quicker foundation to use in this Makeup Basket Express. We'll play with other ones, but I don't know. <laughs> then we're going to go and conceal the Born This Way by Too Faced. This is their multi-use um, concealer, and this one's an almond. So I'll go ahead and put this under my eyes and a little bit on my lids as well. And then I will blend all of that in together. And I'll usually have to go in with just a little bit more of the foundation stick in the parts of my face that um, tend to be pretty red. So this is just with one layer. You can see it doesn't look too bad, um, but you can see some red peeking through. So we need to work on that. And now I'm going to set everything with the L'Oreal True Match Powder. And this one is in W2 Light Ivory. So I just have this little Eco Tools brush in here. And I will set under my eyes first. And then I'll go in with this bigger brush from e.l.f., the complexion brush, and I will set the rest of my face. And then I'm going to use the same brush. We're going to go in with the MAC Ignite Wonder Face Palette. This one's very subtle, but this bronzer here, we're going to um, really build this up on the face. It's really, really light. Um, adds just a little touch of color. I would say this palette is very similar to Hourglass palettes. I don't think the quality is the same, but I think it's like the same idea where it's just very subtle, blends in with your skin um, type powders. So build that up. Then with the brush I use for my under eye powders, I go into like these two highlighter shades. And I run these on the tops of my cheeks. And then I'm going to take this blush right here and just kind of dabble it into this lighter one. This It by Ulta Blush Brush. Just kind of mix them together. Morty just entered the chat. <laughs> And then for eyes, we're going to go in with the NYX Advent Pop in Nouveau Chic. I think this palette's finally losing pigmentation, which is so sad. Like, not all the colors, but a lot of them. But I like uh, using this purple shade, and I'm going to mix it in with this tan shade. And I just have this uh, Real Techniques brush, the um, Shadow brush, brush, and I just mix those two together. Oops, hit the wrong one. And I'm going to take those into my crease. And then I'm going to take this like lighter purple shade with my finger, tap it in the middle. And then I'm going to take a fluffier brush. 
to blend all of that out. So I have this uh, deluxe crease brush, brush by Real Techniques. I'm just going to take this like yellow shade. Look at all the dips in there though. That's cute. Look at us. Love this. Just blend it out. And then I'm going to take the flatter side of that Eco Tools brush with this um, lighter color for the inner corner. Alright, and then for mascara, we're just going to throw on, we have the roller lash, so we're going to throw that on just like two coats. And then for really quick brows, we take the Wonder Brow, and mine is in Burnett. We just brush through the brows with the spoolie that it comes with, and then just lightly fill them in. And then we're going to set everything with the Milani Fruit Fetish Mango Coconut. Alright guys, so that is going to be... Our morning together. Oh, hey, girl. You know, just wearing more workout clothes. <laughs> Wear my Queen Bee uh, lip from Too Faced. You already know I am so predictable. But I'm about to start my work day now. It's about 11 o'clock to start writing workout programs. Then I start my calls for the day. So thank you guys so much for hanging with me this morning. Hopefully it was pretty entertaining. But either way, that was day three, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.